Today I survive 100 days as the shield hero in modded Minecraft. Every 10 days there's going to be a wave that's going to threaten to wipe out the entire world. However, I have to stop them with the power of my shield. Unfortunately, my shield alone won't be enough to do it. My shield's ability stops me from being able to wield any type of weapon. However, that's why I have installed mods that allow me to actually craft an entire army. The Illagers have gotten so strong, they've actually created a king. Now there's dragons, there's a plant that can kill people, hundreds of biomes, this is ridiculous. Just like in the show, instead of just using only our shield, we'll be recruiting people. Having talismans, which are known as inventory pets, to give us extra stat buffs, like this creeper pet that allows us to be immune to the explosions. There's several different armor types that can help us defend against the enemy waves, as well as some of the villages actually have guards. It's time for us to rise up and take the world back. Would you look at that? I have a shield on me. It's the standard shield. The shield doesn't want to come off, but it actually gives me some resistance. It looks like we're at some kind of a village. Why is the wood circular? What is up with that? Normally, okay, but this wood is not so. Wait, it is kind of circular. There, it's got, it has curves. It just doesn't look like it. This is so weird. Well, at least we got some food to start us off. I'm sure they won't mind. For some reason, our health is actually lower than normal. I think if we actually manage to kill more monsters, though, we might be able to get stronger. And there's a lot of these guards around the place. Not just guards, but magic guards look at this guy he is kitted out man he has a crossbow iron helmet they have a lot of defense here i guess the illagers have just been attacking so much they've had to train up an army they certainly look strong but i can't pick up any weapons this is gonna be pretty hard on my own oh it's a heavy night oh no oh no 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 guards guards help it's a ah! please tell me you guys are gonna attack him no 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 wait 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 the guards don't want to attack him. They're not registering that Steve as a bad guy. This is not a guard. This is a bad guy. This this guy is actually able to kill us. I'd like to sneak out the back door, but I don't think there's a way. Not without that Steve getting to me. If I could just get to a bed, I could sleep and I could actually see what I'm doing. All right, here goes nothing. Huh. Oh, I can hear him running from behind me. Okay, I think the first thing we should do is actually look up how we can get a crown. Because a crown is how we can manage to build up an army. Uh, so we need a gold nugget. And if we smell a gold nugget, it becomes a crown. What would be the fastest way to get a gold nugget? We could always check the trades. But we could also just simply go mining. Or try and go to the nether. I think the fastest method would probably be mining. If the villagers don't have a trade. Huh? Oh, man, look at this Iron Golem. He has seen some really bad days. Man, this map is huge. Look at all these different biomes. There's purple, one that looks like a fall with, like, yellow and red. There's blue and green, and then there's just a normal forest. I see a red forest. Ah, the shield's very helpful against these plants. First thing we need to do is build a pickaxe. We can't wield weapons, so there's no sense of making a sword. At least not for myself. I think we'll make this village our home temporarily. And I think we might permanently protect it from the waves. I don't know how to feel about all this wood being circular. It's definitely different than what I'm used to. Looks like we need to also make some recruitment desk. And that's going to take some wood, a banner, which means we need wool, and a wooden sword. I can make weapons, I just can't wield them. So this will help me actually recruit some different types of people. We got a bowman. We got a heavy bowman. We got a crossbowman. Swordsman. You know, a lancer. Mullet men. All kinds of different stuff to try out. But first thing, we're going to need a crown. We'll make us a crafting table. Put that down. Get us a pickaxe here. Wait a minute. Up in the sky. Is that a floating? There's no way. It's a floating kingdom of sorts. Above our village is a whole floating kingdom. The problem is, is I don't think I should go exploring that until I've gotten a little bit stronger. I can also tame wolves as a sort of army. I've actually got mods in here that allow me to make the wolves stronger. So I can actually give them better armor and command them to do more than I usually would. You know, for other people, getting the wool to make that banner might not be so hard. But for me, only being able to use my shield, it's going to be kind of difficult. Is that an amber chicken? This is crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. He is fast. Hey. There we go. Wait a minute. That bar on the bottom left. It's a red XP bar, I think. I think if I kill enough monsters, I get more hearts from it. Is there any limit to how much health I can have? 
That could be very interesting. The bad part is, is I can't really kill anything on my own until I get better armor or better talismans. I'm not allowed to hold a weapon. I don't think the XP from my guards would ever give me parts either. So what is this? This has my curiosity. I need to see what this is. Like, I need to know what's up there, man. It could be anything. There could be some really good loot. Maybe it'll have a gold nugget. If I could find a gold nugget, I wouldn't even have to go mining. I mean, even for all the recruitment stuff, all I need is to have some wood and some wool. And I guess maybe some string. Which means I'd have to kill a spider. Aw, oh, man. Unless I can find a mine shaft. But to do that, I would need to be able to use a sword. And I can't use a sword. This is becoming more difficult than I originally anticipated. Whoa, that's not a good wolf. That's not a good wolf. That is not a good wolf. Where is- where'd it go? Why was it in the trees? Is that a chest? That black wolf down there must be pretty strong because it's fast. Normal wolves would not be able to get up here. Never mind, there's just casually a pig over there. We won't talk about it. What is this? I really don't know what this is supposed to be. I thought it was a chest. It's definitely not a chest. Oh, he's right beneath me. I'm just gonna not bother you. Don't worry about me, man. What the? Oh, it's a ghost spider. They're not climbing, though. I do need string. I do need string. I can make this work. If I play my cards right. Ow, what the heck hit me that time? Well, definitely not going back there again. That was way, way, way too much trouble for what it was worth. Uh, I don't know if it would have been worth anything anyways. At least we do got us some string. We managed to get some string out of it, which we was going to have to find out how to get either way. Uh, it just took a lot of trial and error. Oh, no, not one of you guys again. They're fast, too. Right now, being the shield hero, not too fun. Yeah, we have defense, but we're not nearly strong enough. We're like level one. We've got to get a lot better if we want to be able to take out things. We need to recruit people. Without a party, how am I supposed to get stronger? This just doesn't make any sense, man. I'm on my own. Oh, look, he's got a rose. How sweet. Why? Hey, hey, hey. Pumpkin seed. Pumpkin seed. Pumpkin seed. If only I could find a cave around here for me to actually be able to get some easy access to some gold. If I could just find a cave, it wouldn't be too hard for me to... Whoa. Whoa. I think I found us our cave, but what is this place? It's got, like, purple leaves falling off of the trees and bamboo. Oh, I heard a skeleton. Maybe we'll check that out another day. Today is not that day. Okay, here we go. Hey, hey. Oh my god. God. Okay, then. All right, so that's how it's going to be. All right. That's how it's going to be, world. You're on. What is that noise? A lurker? Oh, come on. Can I not catch a break? Wait. A skeleton killed it. All right. Come on. Use your Minecraft skills. Oh, no. Come on. Come on, don't let him kill you. Just how many of you are there? All right, spam time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your bow out. How are you going to do it? Wait, what's that guy? He just, he's not trying to go for me, so he must not be too bad. He's a noble. Wait. Who are you guys? Why are you running away from my light? Are they, like, running away from me, or are they just running? Whoa. You guys found me a ravine. Don't mind if I do. I'll be back for that. Wait. Peasant. Oh, they must be from above. That's why they're here. Maybe there's some kind of house above us. Finally, uh, an NPC that's not trying to kill us. That's a start. We found some iron. We found some coal. It'll have to do for now. Maybe if we make ourselves some armor, we won't die so fast. Speaking of which, we do have an armor mod installed. How about we start looking up what kind of armor... Whoa! Ho, 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 my god. All right. So we can make some really crazy armor combinations here. Uh, uh, a lot of armor combinations. I believe there's even wood armor, if I'm not mistaken. Which means we might be able to make some wood armor. Nope. 
Never mind. No wood on oak leaf. Are you serious? Redstone chest plate. Why is these actually got pretty good stats? That's crazy. Enchanted golden apple chest plate. Oh man. Imagine we get that. That'd be really hard to get, but that's, that looks OP. No. Are you? So Come on, man. I was just trying to look in my menu. That's a classic Minecraft moment right there. We have died so much. It's not even funny. We need to get us some people recruited. We also need to increase our shield's power. Increase our defenses. There's other shields for us to unlock. I know that's not really our top concern right now, but we definitely need to start looking into what shields. This one has a shield bash. This could be really helpful. Got the iron tower shield. Oh, we can definitely make some of these. What is this? Hey. No, not a skeleton, not again. No, 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 no. Dang it. Is that a stone golem? I think I got the stone golem blocked so where he can't get to me now, even though he's still there. What is this stuff? Salt? Okay. I doubt salt has much use in this, but we found salt. We also know where ravine is now, so the ravine probably has lots of loot. The bad the part is, is if we have found a deeper ravine, we might be able to find a lot of gold. We just need one gold nugget to be able to make a crown. Although I guess this iron's useful because we will need a lot of iron. Whoa! What the heck is that? Oh no! Shield! There we go. Oh my god, bro, that made me panic. That thing came out of nowhere. I forgot that that's in this. Definitely need to make more armor soon. Look at this stone golem right here, bro. He is actually pretty strong. I'm curious what happens if I attack one of the nobles, but I won't because I'm a good guy. What we will do, though, is we'll slip a bed here and sleep overnight. Now, every time we die, we can just simply respawn right here and get our stuff back. All right, with our beds set up here, we should be able to easily get our stuff back even if we die. Because we're probably going to die a lot from the looks of it. Wow, that is a nice looking view. At this rate, I'm going to need guards just for when I go mining. I keep finding all these different nymphs coming out of here and attacking me. It's getting really annoying. But I have gotten up 38 iron, so we're making a lot of progress. I'll just click up all the iron I can and try and find whatever I, else I can. I find redstone, lapis, gold, anything helps. And it's going to help us actually be able to survive and level up. We might have to start slow. Before we know it, we'll be able to take on anything. Even the waves, which... Honestly, we're like, this world's only hope for taking the waves out. It's actually going to be insane. These waves are going to have dozens of mobs flooding the village. The guards alone won't be enough. That's why they've recruited so many guards. It's not just the illagers. There is tons of mobs in general that we're having to worry about. I mean, dragons come by and attack the village not even that long ago. I mean, dragons came and attacked the village not even that long ago. I just know that this world needs me. I hope that eventually I can put up the defenses of the village, build up a bunch of different special golems that can help us defend. Because there's all different types of golems that have been added into this that will allow us to help defend the village as well. Not just guards, but also golems. If I can make a staff, I'll even be able to summon different types of magical beings to help us defend the village. Not just in the waves, but normally. The Eldritch are supposed to be a lot more aggressive in this to where they'll actually come and invade us a lot more often. Not to mention, they have an Illager King now. The Illagers are out there. We just haven't really seen much of them yet. Okay, guys, I'm deep inside of this cave. And there's all kinds of monsters in here, so I've blocked myself in. But I did manage to find some gold. Now, I can't mine it with the Stone Pickaxe. And this is Amethyst. I can't mine that with the Stone Pickaxe. Which means I need to start smelting my iron and get to work. Also, there's obsidian right outside of where I am. I think I'm going to make a waypoint here and call it this cave. And the reason I'm going to do that is because whenever I want to make obsidian armor, I can come back here. And how good is obsidian armor? We got, oh, we got different types. This is an obsidian ingot, which is made by putting one obsidian, which gives you nine. Ooh. So we can get some really insane obsidian armor here. This one is also an option. So we got seven arm, no, seven armor, four armor toughness. This is 10. This is stronger. This is just straight up that. This is actually 
just as expensive actually it might be a little cheaper it's a little cheaper to make actually but this is actually really op not to mention we can make a bulky obsidian shield there's all kinds of things we can make here refine obsidian reinforced shield just like if you refine it obsidian tower shield oh it is just so many options man but for now let's just focus on smelting our iron and getting this amethyst and this gold all right, here we go. Come on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Bad part is to even get the obsidian stuff I was talking about, we'll have to come back at a later day and get diamonds or some kind of pickaxe that's as, as good as a diamond pickaxe. Uh-oh. Better keep that closed. I think we have the gold we came for and a little bit more. I think I want to get out of this cave now. Now it's time to smelt this and try and prepare for whenever the wave comes. I think this is where I'm gonna make my house temporarily because it seems to be the quietest area. And there's iron boots and an iron longbow and an iron, I can't use this, I can't use this stuff. This is this is kind of weak. Ooh, I could eventually get like a horse or something to ride, some kind of like mount. That would be really helpful. About to make me Philo 2.0. Just gonna put some of the stuff in the chest that we don't need. We're building up apples. Maybe we will eventually be able to do that enchanted gold armor. I doubt it, though. We just would need way too much. Iron boots. Don't mind if I do. We've already failed. <laughs> we're actually going to have to go get some more wood. Uh, but yeah, we're going to need a wooden sword. To make a banner, we're going to need some wool. And then just wood. And that's just for a melee. Which is... I think that's what we'll start off with for now. Melee. So I'm going to go gather this up so that we can actually start making us an army. Then we'll be able to mine a lot better with a lot more ease. Okay, I have everything I need except for the wool for the banner. Which means I need to start looking for sheep. Sheep, luckily, are uh, not hard to fight. I just got to find a bunch of them. One thing I could use is some of that string I have. How much does that even give me? I could go back and try finding those spiders for some string, but I don't know if that's really worth it considering how strong they are. And I just got this armor. However, on my mini map, I'm not really seeing any sheep. I might be out of luck. This is going to suck, but I think I'm going to have to track down those spiders again. If I could track down the spiders, I can easily manage to get some wool. But here's some cows. Wait, maybe there will be sheep though spawn. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have the sword. We have the banner. And now we just need a lot of wood, which is easier said than done. Okay, come on. Recruitment center. We've done it. We finally got the recruitment center. And now we can make all kinds of stuff. How about we just drop with the swordsman, though? You need two crowns? Two crowns? No, I'm kidding. That's easy, bro. See, the good part about getting crowns is all I have to do is put some gold nuggets in here and just get the smelting. Now, right now, I don't have any coal, so I'm just going to use some wood as some fuel. But I think by tomorrow, I should have an army built if it just costs this at least. I'm excited to see what I can do here. Let's do swordsman. All right. I should probably wait till it's, uh, you know, daytime so no mob spawn. All right, now that I've slept, it's time for us to recruit a swordsman. A swordsman. And... Whoa. The hub... How bread... I haven't heard pronounced that. We'll unhorse you of a sudden. Somebody did not know how to write English. <laughs> and with determination, he cost six crowns. Uh, okay then. We got an Axeman, Molletman. The Milcian is the base unit, armed simply of a sword but cheap. He cost one crown. Okay. Did I buy him? I did. And then buy another swordsman. So we have an army building up here. We eventually need to build a base somewhere. This house is not going to last us very much longer. Uh, it's just not going to be able to keep up. So how about we try doing swordsman? He has 50 health. Follow me. Stay here. So now he's following me. Another swordsman. Another swordsman. You know what? 
Another swordsman. Guess what, though? Uh, yeah, I, I think you might need to stay. Yeah, I, I don't want you. All right, boys. Follow me. Now, if I'm correct, look at us. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. It is over. We have an entire army here. We got my shield here. If anything tries to attack me, boys, you guys got me, right? We need to go give this a test run. Let's try and find something that's hostile. If something's bad, these guys should kill it, in theory. Now, I'm also wondering if, like, something like a heavy knight shows up. If they'll defend me or not. There it is! They're doing it! Get them, boys! Yeah! Get them! Let's go! Let's go! I couldn't kill those guys earlier. You guys are the... Please don't get stuck. You guys are the best. Oh, heck yeah. This is what I'm needing, man. Now... I need to make me a proper shield for the wave. With this, I'll actually be able to finally get stronger. I have a party of mercenaries, it would seem. We need to figure out which shield we want to make next. The wooden tower shield seems pretty cool. Why don't we make that? I think that's pretty basic in its supplies that we need. Alright, so now we have a wooden tower shield, which we can upgrade into a stone tower shield. And we can upgrade the stone tower shield to an iron tower shield. There's a shield pet. We definitely need to get this eventually. Area of effect. It gives group resistance. This can make my entire army have more resistance. Oh, you know I need that. Well, here's us an iron tower shield, which apparently if I block and left click, it'll do a shield bash. We could technically dual wield shields though, which is kind of crazy. Uh, I'm not going to lie. We could technically do this. So I'm definitely going to. Now, we can apparently shield bath if bash. If we block and then left. So blocking and then left clicking allows us to do some kind of shield bash. This is shaping up to be exactly what we need. Looks like our guy did lose a bit of health in that fight with that heavy knight. But it's fine. But we will be here tomorrow. I just gotta hope that we're ready. We definitely need to go mining again to get more gold and more equipment. Because our armor is just not all that amazing. Not to mention we could make better shields. We could have more of our little army here. There's all different types of stuff we could do. We could even get ranged if we start working on ranged units. This is all close range. But if we actually focus on range, we could have some people with bows. Maybe catapults. There's all kinds of stuff we could get. But for now, how about we focus on surviving the first wave? Bro, I need you to not die on me, alright? Let me go see if I can find any more iron golems that I can heal before the wave starts. Because we're gonna need every single soldier we can in this village. That means I need you guys to get out of here. No more getting stuck. I'm gonna need the entire village to be ready for this raid. With the shield bash ability, I might actually be able to get a lot more XP, which means I can get more hearts. I'm definitely going to need it if I want to be able to actually get more heart containers and become even stronger. Whoa! I was barely in the area and they're already coming to help me. I had them on stay and the moment something hostile came around, they immediately jumped them. That's crazy. I can't believe they did that. That's awesome. I love you guys. You guys are freaking amazing. Hope you guys are ready because the raid will be starting any day now okay i hope we're ready whenever we get back in here the wave's gonna start i don't know how i feel about that but here we go i'm gonna come down here we're gonna get our guards and then the wave's gonna begin i think i got everybody okay we got everybody guys get ready guards get ready it's about to get really bad really fast as you can see this looks like a normal raid at the top and that's because this is going to be the first wave but even then, this is no normal raid. This raid is going to be far more aggressive than any raid you've ever seen in Minecraft before. Because this is a modded raid. Where are they coming from? <gasps> Never mind! Okay, I see them now. I definitely see them now. Shabash! Shabash! Come on, she'll block it. What the heck are you? What are you supposed to be? Yeah, get him. No, 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 don't die, don't die, don't die. There we go. Oh my god. Run! It's the Mew and Enderman! No. They're, they're getting him. 
Come on. Work together. Work together. Work together. We got him on the run. Come on. Focus up on him. Ah. He has a lot of damage. No, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Where is this thing? He's in the hills. Oh my god, he's everywhere. Stay together. Oh my god, I just need to stay alive. I can't help much. It's up to you guys. Come on. You guys got this. Where are the where's he going? Get him out of here. Where the He's everywhere at once! He died! Ah! Oh, it's trying to absorb me. No. Oh. What the heck was that? I had no chance against that. If it wasn't for my army, I wouldn't have had a chance. That's just ridiculous. We did get an Eye of Ender from that, though, I guess. That was terrifying, dude. How did we make it through that? Like, I knew it was going to be, like, a tough battle at the end. But, man, that Mutant Enderman gave us a really hard time. I only have two troops left, and I had to make more as we went. I actually have another gold nugget, so I can technically make a crown out of that. Wow. That was no joke. Come on, guys. Get up here. We officially survived the first wave. But what I will say is I had no idea just how hard that wave was going to be. What's the, Who knows what's going to be in day 50? Day 50 could have a dragon for all I know. I'm terrified to find out. We need to get stronger. We need better armor. We need to start getting us some pets that can help us with certain effects. And we need to start getting our health bar up. Oh, so much to do. So little time. Wait, actually, I have an emerald now. Three armor. That's it. That's not all that much, to be honest. I thought emerald would be better than that, but I guess not. But what about an emerald shield? Is that a thing? I think we need to go for obsidian next. If we can get obsidian, we can get obsidian armor. We can have an obsidian shield. And then we can start working on trying to build up an army for the next wave. Because the next wave is going to be no joke. So we need to head back to the cave at some point. I'm going to put this stuff away. And then I need to start getting new types of minerals. And overall, I might just have a chance at getting strong enough to be able to survive the next wave. I might need to bring my troops down with me though. Because this is going to be fun. Being near those lava monsters is not easy. Come in. We must venture into the cave. Is that a is that a goblin trader? Whoa. You have some not too bad of okay. That is an amazing trade. So you're telling me I can just Wow. Just like that. You know what? Let me just Wow, look at what bro, bro. just like that? While they focus on killing those things, um, and hopefully not falling in lava. I would hope not. Where'd he go? Aw oh, man. Whatever. Wait, no, there he is, there he is. Goblin Trader! We are not buying that thing. I'm sorry. Screw that. Goblin Trader. They're so about to fall in lava and all die, aren't they? I don't need any of these. Alright, guys. Alright, 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 alright. Maybe bring them near lava wasn't the best plan. We have done it. We've assembled all the obsidian we need. Probably. Hopefully. Let's try this out. Obsidian. Is this the good obsidian? I don't think this is the good obsidian, is it? This is the good obsidian. How do you get one of these? Wait. Obsidian sh Man, you must be playing. Obsidian shards turn into... That. That's it. How do you get this, then? Obsidian ignits you gather from putting... Oh! Alright, well, I don't know how to make the other armor, but if I'm correct, so we got this, right? Let's check that compared to the emerald. Seven. That seven, but it actually gives me toughness. So this is still really amazing armor. It's probably even better than netherite, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll roll with it for now. I think it's still going to be the best thing that we have. Definitely. Oh, definitely a huge buff, man. Whoa. What? What's happening? The gear's breaking! Soldiers, help me! Oh, no. That's a lot of debris. Oh, we're safe. Ah! 
Well, that was certainly loud, but it's fixed now. We also have leveled up twice, so we have more heart containers. One thing I really like is that you can see at the bottom left where you see the armor bar. There's actually an extra armor bar now, though. Uh, there, and that's a part of the mod that uh, I've added. Basically, it just allows me to see the proper actual armor that I have on. This is basically like netherite, essentially. Is it actually just might be exactly like netherite? Let's check it out. So netherite seven. Yeah, it's just it's literally just stronger than netherite by a lot, actually. So we officially have better than netherite armor, and we're on like what? What boys? We're like not even that far. We're like 30, 40 days in. Not even that bad. By next wave, we'll have full obsidian armor. Huge. Massive. Okay, here we go. So now let's make the obsidian tower shield. Now, as you can see, we've been slowed. But apparently, this actually makes us uh, significantly stronger. See, this does max protection 538. This is 1,600. Yeah, that's a huge, <laughs> huge boost. It does make us slower. But it gives us knockback resistance. And like I said, it gives us a lot more protection. So now we can have just an insane amount of defense. We will be the ultimate defense. But there's one thing I would really like to get. And that's the shield pet. Now, can we craft this? Yes, we can. But we don't have a diamond. We really need to get diamonds because the best shield right now that we could go crafting other than what obsidian is, is diamond shields. Uh, there's a diamond shield that we could have that's really good. And it might even be better than the obsidian tower shield on uh apparently there's another type of there's apparently another type of shield done as like a lectrium shield and a terrestrial shield i don't exactly know how to get those yet but maybe eventually we'll look into it but they're even stronger than diamond however diamonds just have a lot of uses right now and we should really try and get one because we can also make an enchant table and that just makes us that much stronger but for now i really like to get the shield pet above all because this gives us group resistance this could be amazing for the next wave, because if the wave ended off in that mutant enderman fight, I think I need to get just a little bit stronger before that wave comes, because who knows what we might be fighting next. I would assume dragons, but it could be anything. It could be an entire wave of stuff like that mutant enderman. I'm scared to find out. Finally, some gold. I forgot to mint And emeralds. <laughs> and iron. Okay, this is, this is a ridiculous little ore spot here. Although we really just need diamonds and gold. Anyways, I forgot to mention that we do need a lot of gold because if we're going to be recruiting an army, we're going to need to have gold. Obviously, gold normally wouldn't be that valuable, but in our case, if we want to build an army to take out these waves, we're going to need as much gold as possible. And I don't think there is a limit on how many that we can make, so we could have a huge army that might just be able to easily kill a dragon. That's the plan. We'll eventually have like a whole nation of warriors. And I'll be able to buff them up and defend them with no problem. That's what makes the shield hero so special. Also, we are getting a ton of amethyst. And this is the good amethyst too, if I'm not mistaken. And this is the good amethyst too, if I'm not mistaken. This makes seven armor. This makes eight. Okay, maybe it's the bad amethyst. Never mind. <laughs> Well, not not all the way. Some of it's actually pretty good. Wait. Nah, not enough. The armor toughness just isn't there. It's not something I would use, but I could probably use it for tools or something. Either way, uh, I'll, I don't really need iron anymore. Whatever, I can't help myself. Either way, I just mainly need to find gold and diamonds. I have not found a single diamond yet, so I'm about to get on that. I know we are at diamond level, so it's very possible for any minute for us to just end up walking into a diamond area. Bingo! I found it. And look, I also found something called Zircon. Z Zircon. You got some sapphire. One of the random emeralds. I didn't even know they had this. This is like a different type of emerald. I'm not going to ask too many questions. And we also got some redstone, which I guess is always kind of nice. But the diamonds is what we're here for. How many, though? How many diamonds we get? And gold beside it? Oh, that is what I'm talking about. Oh, there's a lot. Jeez. Oh, we are about to be ready for this raid. This is what we've been needing. We're running out of time. So this... Oh, and three. If only it had been four. But three is still really good. That'll give us the inventory pet. And then maybe one to two other things. I'm going I'm to head back home now.
Now that we're back at base, let's go ahead and see what we need to make the shield pet again. So to get the shield pet, we're going to need iron nuggets, which I literally already had from earlier. We're going to need an emerald and a diamond. So we literally already have that all in our inventory. Let's go ahead and make us a shield pet. And its favorite food is an iron nugget. So as long as we have those, we're good. Okay, there we go. Now we officially have something for ranged units, which is going to help. And we could do a bowman, a crossbowman, or a heavy bowman. An arrow in the heart of his enemies. The heavy bowman secures efficiency. E efficiently the protection. He costs four crowns. I don't exactly know what that means, but okay. Halberder, halberder, halberder. Plus, I'll be giving them resistance with my pet. Like, imagine that. Look how many guys we have, and we can still put out more. We're gonna go get more. That's right. We're just getting started. I just want to get a bunch of swordmen other than that. Oh my goodness. We got so many. Like, dude, what is this? This is crazy. Like, at this point, I must have, like, 40 to 50 troops at least. Man, anybody attacks this village, they are dead, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. We have an entire army set up here. This is no j Like, look at this. Dude, I'm going to be bringing these guys into battle. Plus, I get to buff them up with my shield. This is going to be crazy. Um, how about we now do a little bit more ranged. And we'll do heavy bowmen for the last ones. Okay. This is crazy. I think we have plenty for the raid. Even if a dragon came here, I think with all of these guys, we probably have a solid chance of taking them out. I think we're about as ready as we'll ever be. So all we gotta do now is just simply wait for the raid to begin. Oh my god, some of the troops have already died fighting the wave. The wave's officially here. <sighs> I hope you guys are ready. We've already lost half our troops to whatever that is over there. It's an Illager King and some other things that I don't quite understand. Looks like we have still a couple people left. We need to hurry. Come on, come on. Let's get all of you up in here. Let's go! Charge! I gotta get a good view of this boss too. Ow. Obsidian! Shield bash! Activate group resistance! What is that thing? It's a frost gnaw! Come on guys, take it down! It's too strong. That thing literally could freeze us to death. I don't know if I have enough people. Snipe them! Use your ability! No! I'm frozen. Okay, I'm unfrozen. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Did we kill him? Did we do it? Oh my god, we managed to kill him. Is that all of them? Look how much XP they dropped. That's crazy. It's a dragon! And it's a strong dragon as well. I don't know if we'll have enough to take this thing out. He's gonna burn down the whole village. No! Take him down! Don't follow me. Just kill this thing. Kill him! Hit him with everything you got! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, guys, stay in there. Oh man, my troops are dying so quickly. Shield pet! I'm barely staying alive in here. Come on. Get this thing out. We still got resistance. I can wait a while. I just need to let them kill this thing. Hopefully he doesn't burn down the whole village. We gotta kill this thing. Shield bash. Shield bash. My offensive capabilities are just horrible. Half the army's still over here. No wonder. I should have brought a fire resistance pet. I didn't think that far ahead. Oh man, I died right outside my base. Are you serious? Come on, guys. He's almost dead. We got him on the ropes. Hit him! Yeah. Come on, I see the fish this thing off. No! Oh. Finally! Finally, I won! And for such a little game. Look at the damage he's caused. We gotta put these fires. This is insane. 
Oh my god, he burnt down a whole house. Oh my goodness. Luckily, some of the houses are made out of half cobble, so I guess they won't entirely burn down. It doesn't seem like it's reached my house through some miracle. But it's still spreading everywhere. I think I've put it out. For the most part, it's been put out, except for it's spraying to the trees now. Oh, come on. Oh, well. The village is a little damaged, and I lost every single troop I had. But we managed to survive the waves. I thought for sure having 50, 60 troops would be more than enough. But apparently, this still isn't enough. I need to get way stronger. And I think I know exactly how I'm going to start. First things first, we need to get more pets. Specifically, a couple pets that come to mind is like the TNT pet, which is, uh, well, not the TNT pet, the Juggernaut pet. Uh, you get this thing an Obsidian Nugget, and it makes you invulnerable for a minute. And it weakens enemies, so definitely worth having. Now, I haven't tried this before, but there's something called a Quantum Crystal Monster Pet. And essentially, if I can craft this, which isn't all that hard, Obsidian, Lapis, I could probably do this even now. It allows me to summon in minions, apparently. And that could be very helpful. We need all the minions we possibly can. Group regeneration, so if I get the heart pet, it can actually help me regenerate my troops, which would be huge. This is what I've been missing, so I think I want the heart pet more than anything. And look how simple that is to get. So we're going to craft some of these pets. Okay, so tomorrow is going to be the raid. I've gotten everything I need. I've got plenty of crowns. You see, I still have some of the same stuff as I had before. I still have the same armor, all of that. But I will say that I've gotten a couple more hearts, which is huge. And you're probably wondering how I was able to manage to do that. Well, after I made that last clip, I actually went and made all the pets I talked about. And these pets all have different uses. So let me explain. First, we have the heart pet. The heart pet allows us to literally just regenerate uh, in a group. So basically, everyone around me should be able to regenerate, which is awesome. So all of my followers should get some health as well as, well as me. So it helps out a ton. We got the Quantum Crystal Monster Pet, which I've never tried, but apparently it summons minions. I'm a little nervous of how that's going to go, but apparently I can summon minions for myself. We got the Iron Golem Pet, which I've used in previous videos, which gives you damage absorption, so you don't, like, take as much damage. Uh, and basically, you know, it just gives you poppies if you want, and blah, blah, blah. We got the Magma Cube Pet. This makes us fire resistance. We're resistant, whatever. Basically, we're resistant to fire. So if we fight a dragon, we shouldn't take as much damage. We also have the shield pet from earlier, which just gives us group resistance. So we now have absorption, resistance, and regeneration, as well as, you know, I'm already tanky enough. And you'll notice in my hand, I have an enchant table. The reason I have that is because I remember this house early on in the video. Aw, oh, crap. It got somewhat burned down, but there's a couple bookcases here, so I thought maybe this could help. Uh, oh, I forgot the lapis. All right, so let me just put this here, and we'll put enchant. And we're going to enchant our armor. Now, let's take off our armor, and let's enchant it, because I think we'll be keeping this armor for the rest of the video. Let me summon a minion. Attack! Get them! They're actually very helpful. What the heck? They actually help a lot. Minions! Get them! Oh, we are way strong now. This guy came and he used to one-shot us. Look at us now. He can barely hurt us. It's worse than I thought. It has all the mutants. We get the skeleton in the hills, the zombie up front, and then even the Enderman. But they've already taken out the Enderman. Oh, God. It's all the mutants. I should have known they would have done this. Oh, uh, look at that man leap. Where's my shield? Ah! Oh, wait. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Gang up on him. What you gonna do? Oh, it's a zombie. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. We took him out. We're not done yet, boys. It's the big one. The mutant creeper. Oh, God. Group regeneration. Group regeneration. Is it not? I don't think it's working. Why is it like a squish toy? Oh, nah. All right. Shield pet. Iron golem pet. No, wait, 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 I said, dang it, I couldn't even get away, he almost killed me, it can't be, it's a big one, shield pet, heart pet, oh my, 
Look how strong he is. I don't even kill this thing. Is he immune? I can't even touch him. No. I can't kill him. I don't see the health bar, but I know he has a way to... There's a way to kill him. Alright, time to summon in more troops. Bowman. Bring it on! Have we lost the entire army? Looks about like it. Where's he going? Oh my god. Where did he just run off to? Our pet. Juggernaut pet. He escaped. But only for now. I'm gonna get him. Just for that, I'm about to go all the way to the end and take out the Ender Dragon because I'm not about to let that slide. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this battlefield. This is ridiculous. This is the last man standing. I don't see anyone else. You are the very last person. Wait, never mind. That guy's still alive. He, he, you, you, guys, you guys are both the last people standing. You know what I'm going to do? Bye-bye. I mean, I'm the shield hero. Um, I'm going to bring you back home. Jump cut. This place is so dangerous. I got here, and I brought an army. But, dude, there's so many here. There's mutant endermen just casually here. This is not what I'm wanting. I need to take out this inner dragon now. Before I even summoned anybody, I went ahead and got the crystals. But I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know if these guys are going to last long enough. Our pet! Damage absorption! Boom! Can I not summon them in? Attack! I guess! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Come on! Hit him! Come on, I've got all you guys summoned. Now, if we just kill the Ender Dragon, it'd be good. Be very nice. You guys don't all die trying to kill whatever that is. I want to kill this. The giant floating dragon. Not whatever that is. We did it! Let's go! I don't like crap. Finally. With just the power of a shield, an army of mage things, an army of mage things, and, you know, a ton of soldiers. Uh, we have managed to kill basically everything. Also, the power of a shield and inventory pets and pretty much everything we can because not being able to attack kind of sucks. I'm gonna get out of here now. Bye. Looks like we defeated all the waves. Good riddance. It would appear I lost basically all of my armor in that fight. But I'll tell you this much. We took out all of the waves. We completed the challenge and we only used our shield with no type of sword at all. So I'm pretty proud of us and you guys hopefully are impressed at home. Let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comment section below. I thought this was an awesome idea. There was no like shield here on 100 days and I thought this is the best way to do it. And I think this was amazing. This was really fun. It was a bit, definitely a change of pace. Instead of me being the person that had to attack everything, I had soldiers that were attacking for me. So if you guys enjoyed that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. This has been Fusion Timmy, signing out.